We're going to continue our touring series here on MC Rider. And this week I want to talk about strategies for packing, what you should pack and what you should leave behind. Because after doing a few of these, you kind of learn that it's easy to overpack. So I'd like to share with you my packing strategy, what I take with me on the road, what I leave behind, and what necessities you may want to think about taking on your next road trip. So I break my bags down. I like to keep the bags separated so that I know, you know, for instance, that my clothes are over here, my tools are over here. I break it down that way so that it's easier to find things out on the road. So here are the things that I've got in each of these bags. Um, over here on the left side of the bike, I've got my camera gear. Now I've got a lot of camera stuff that I take with me so I can film things for you guys. In addition to that, I've got my tools. So I've got a tire pressure gauge. I've got a full set of sockets. A tire plug kit, uh, screwdrivers, Allen wrenches, my air pump, and it is a Harley, so I've got 10 extra quarts of oil in case I run low out on the road. I can top it off as I'm going along. Over in this bag, I've got towels and washcloths for every night of the trip. I've got seven pairs of jeans, my tennis shoes, some dress shoes in case I find a nice place that I want to eat at. I've got 10 MC Rider shirts, the short sleeve type because these are the best riding shirts that you can have. I mean, you just ride better if you're wearing an MC Rider shirt. I've got five of the long sleeve versions of it as well. I've got a jacket to wear whenever I'm off the motorcycle. I've got socks and underwear for every day of the trip. I've got my pajamas and a bathrobe because I like to relax at the end of a hard day riding. And my pillow because I just can't get used to those hotel pillows. So I've got that stuff in there. But that's why I really like this tour pack from Advan Black because it gives me a lot more storage options. I've got this big bag up here. So in this bag, I've got three gallons of water because I like to have plenty of water with me when I'm on the road. I've got two extra gallons of fuel in here and I've got just a little bit of space left over in case I find souvenirs along the way. You know what? I might want to camp while I'm on this trip as well. So let's get my sleeping bag. Hold on. I'll be right back. I've got my sleeping bag over here. You know what? I can mount this because I have an, I had them send me this rack. I can mount this sleeping bag right here. I've got some straps here. Let me get this strapped on here. So these, uh, these rock straps are awesome. Let me get this on here. Go that way. Over here we'll go this way. Bring this up. Perfect. That sleeping bag's not gonna go anywhere. I'm gonna be wearing this jacket. Oh man, you know what? It might get cold while I'm on the trip too. I was planning on bringing uh, this jacket as well in case I got into some really cold weather. Um, uh, hold on. Look at this jacket and the liner. And if we do this, put that over like that, make a little more room in our strap here. Where's the other side? There it is. We'll strap that in, tighten all this back down. Perfect. And now I've got everything I need there are probably a few things extra that I could have packed to make it a little more comfortable on the trip, but I've got everything I need for this road trip. Hey, if you're new here, my name's Kevin. I'm the host at MC Rider. And as you can tell from the opening, I'm also a motorcycle packing expert. We're gonna continue our touring series this week, talk about things that you may wanna pack 
and things that you may want to leave at home when you go out for an extended ride on your motorcycle. If you haven't done so already, head over to mcrider.com support. You can learn how to support the channel, get access to the field guide and the MC Rider forums where we've got myself and other riding instructors available to answer questions and to help you get this thing right, to do it safer, and to get better on two wheels. So go to mcrider.com support and you can learn how to get access. So in that opening segment of this video, I did a whole lot of stuff wrong there. One, I had my tools all loaded on one side and camera gear on one side with my clothes on the other, causing the bike to be imbalanced. And then when I loaded the top of the motorcycle up, the tour pack, I put all of my heaviest stuff up there. So all things that you don't want to do. We've talked about that in some other videos. You want to balance the weight out and you want to keep the weight as low as you can on the motorcycle. That's going to make the motorcycle easier to handle at slower speeds and when you come to a stop, having that weight balanced and down low on the motorcycle. Aside from having the weight imbalanced on the motorcycle, I had a whole lot of stuff in the bags that I probably don't need. Pajamas and bathrobes, pillows, things like that. Maybe nice luxuries at home, but I don't know that you really need that when you're out on the road. So it's a whole lot easier to overpack for a trip than it is to underpack. Uh, there's a Walmart just around every corner it seems like and if you have run out of socks you can always find an extra pair at walmart a lot of guys will pack just minimum of those and wash them in the hotel or throw them away when they get dirty and buy a new set at the next available walmart or town that they come on so before we start talking about what's actually in the bags when i pack for a trip let's talk about what's on me a full face helmet so i always ride with the full face helmet I've got earplugs in. I've got a jacket with armor on it. I only carry one jacket with me. So my climb jacket uh, has zippers on it that I can open up and I can get air in. And then if it gets cold, I can dress in layers. Or if I'm riding when it's a colder season, late fall or winter, I'm gonna choose the winter jacket to start out with. So based on the season, it's gonna determine which jacket I start out with but I'm not gonna carry both of them with me. I'm gonna carry a pair of gloves and I'll probably carry an extra pair as well, one for warmer temperatures and one for colder temperatures. I have riding pants on that have full armor in them and boots. So that's my everyday riding material. Those are a lot of bulky items that stay on you all the time. So you don't really have to consider those when you think about loading the bags up for a trip. So let's look at a general overview of what I pack when I go on a trip. Now, keep in mind, this is going to be different for, you know, every individual. You're going to have different needs. So this isn't something set in stone, but this is kind of how I approach it whenever I'm going on a multi-day trip. So let's close first here because that is an area where things can get out of control really quickly. Particularly if you're riding with two people, it's going to take up a lot more space on your motorcycle. But remember, a lot of your time on the trip is going to be spent on the bike. Because of that, you can get away with a lot fewer clothes than you would in a normal situation. And a lot of people will choose to wash clothes along the way. I've washed clothes out in the hotel sink, or you can find a laundromat, take a break, and get everything all cleaned up at once. I listed rain gear and layers here together because rain gear can actually be a warmth layer as well. So if it gets cold in the morning, a lot of times I'll put my rain gear on over my riding gear that helps keep a lot of wind out and keeps you a lot warmer. Layers are the key to keep you from having to carry two jackets on the road. You can have a long sleeve windbreaker or something under your riding jacket, put your rain gear on top of that and you'll stay a whole lot warmer than you would otherwise. Using layers will allow you to get away with just taking one riding jacket and yet stay warm when the temperatures drop or when you first get up in the morning. Next up would be personal items. So that would be toothbrush, toothpaste, all those kind of things. Also include in this camera gear. Now, if you're like me and you really like to record your uh, trips and you need to get a lot of footage from it, there may be more camera gear than 
uh, what a lot of other people would need. Some people can just get away with their cell phone. Cell phones nowadays have great cameras on it, and you can also record video from it. So depending on your needs, that camera gear may or may not take up more room on the bike. First aid kit is something that a lot of riders don't think about, but it's something you'll really wish you had sometime when you need it. Tools is an interesting topic, and I don't pretend to be a mechanic by any means, but I carry a few tools with me just in case something happens where I need to fix it. It's an easy fix. So things you want to carry at a minimum would be a multi-tool. It's got a screwdriver and some pliers on it. You want to carry tire plugs. So you can buy those plug kits. I've got them on my Amazon store. In addition to that, a pump or the CO2 cartridges to get some air back in the tire. And you want to make sure you know how to use those tire plugs before you get out on the road and have to use them on the side of the road. Some other things that are good to carry are zip ties. I've used those in the past to help keep something secure. And maybe a small roll of duct tape because duct tape will fix just about anything. So you want to carry that as well. One thing that you may want to think about before you go out is that ride on tire sealer. You can find that on my Amazon store. It seals a lot of punctures and it's going to hopefully keep you from being stranded on the side of the road. So that's a really good option to have when you head out on a trip to help keep those tire punctures at a minimum. And here in a minute, I'm going to share with you one secret. If you're not a mechanic like me, something you want to consider doing that uh, could help you if you get stranded out on the side of the road. Last thing I'll mention in this list is maps. Now, I've got a GPS and I've got a smartphone that I carry with me all the time, but there's nothing like planning a route out, sitting down, looking at a nice big map to see where you want to go. So having a good set of maps can really save you if your electronics fail you, and it's nice to sit down and plan with a map as well to figure out where you want to go. Even when you got a motorcycle with as many bags on it as the Road King, space can be at a premium. So I want to share with you a trick to help save more room and to make finding clothes a little bit easier when you get out on the road. So I'm going to show you how to, to pack a shirt, socks, and underwear for every day of the trip and a nice little technique that will save you some space in your saddlebags. Now this only works with MC Rider shirts, okay? So if you haven't ordered an MC Rider shirt, I'll have a link below. You can order an MC Rider shirt. In fact, order several of them so you'll have enough to go around when you go on a trip because that will only work, this technique will only work with MC Rider shirts. So let me show you what we're talking about. So you may have seen this somewhere else before. It's not new to me, but I saw it online. I thought it was a really cool thing. So you start with one MC Rider shirt, and then you take your underwear and put those right in the middle. That'll answer the question for you. Boxers are brief here at MC Rider. You fold your shirt over like this, fold your shoulder over like that, take one pair of tube socks, lay them in the middle, then leave the end hanging out like that. So now you've got your shirts ready to roll up and you roll them into a nice tight roll here. You wanna compress it as much as you can because you're trying to save space on the bike. And then once you've got it rolled up, take the end of the socks, pull it down there, the end of the socks, pull it down on this side, and now all you've got to do is reach in your bag and you've got one shirt, one pair of underwear, or one pair of socks ready for every day. So nice space saving tip. You can fit a bunch of those into a bag. Saves you a lot of space and will save you some time getting ready in the morning as well. Something I do like to have, especially on the Road King when I go travel on it, is the bag liners so you can buy those on amazon i've got a link to them on my store but you can buy bag liners and particularly for your clothes it's real nice to have all your clothes in one of those that way when you roll up to the hotel at night you just reach in there and pull that one bag out and you've got all your stuff that you need for a night in the hotel 
So bag liners are a good idea. On a tent array, it's not as big a deal because the bags come off so easy. I just take the whole bag off and carry it into the hotel with me at night. So I take all three bags off, load them on a cart, and take it into the hotel. On the Road King, it's nicer to have the bag liners. Something else you may want to consider when you go on a trip is becoming a member of the AMA. So let me show you my card right here, cover up my personal information. AMA membership gets you access to roadside assistance. So if you break down somewhere, if you run out of fuel, all it takes is a phone call to get somebody out to help you out in times of trouble. I've been an AMA member for a few years now, and I've only used the roadside assistance once, and it wasn't even while I was on a trip. I came out to the garage one morning and my motorcycle wouldn't start, so I called that 800 number. Somebody's enjoying their new pipes out there. So I called that 800 number on the back of the card, and within two hours they had a truck with a covered trailer that took my motorcycle to the garage to have a mechanic take a look at it so that more than paid for the yearly membership just that one time so if you go on a trip that's a good a good thing to have with you you know that you can get somebody out to help you out if the bike breaks down or if you need fuel those kind of things when you're out on the road other tips i've got for you are to keep the things that you're going to use the most accessible in the bags so i use a camera a lot while i'm out so I'll keep that on the top of the bags. Uh, things that I probably won't need or hopefully won't need like you know tire plugs or uh, repair kits, things like that, I'll keep further down in the pannier. And that way I only have to dig for those if I actually need it. So keep the stuff you use uh, closer to the top. And if you've got a tour pack, that's a great place to keep those types of items because you have easy access to it from the motorcycle. So is there anything that I left out here is there anything that you take on a trip that you make sure you've got with you every time you leave the house? Or are there things that were on my list that you leave at home? I'd love to learn from you guys as well. Leave a comment below and share your knowledge with the other writers and join us on the forum. And we've got a wealth of knowledgeable writers over there. You can ask questions. We've got other writing instructors that are there to assist you as well. So join us on the forums and you can get access to that via mcrider.com slash support. You can learn how to access the forums and get access to the field guide where you can practice these techniques on any open parking lot. Till next week, guys, it's Kevin with MC Rider, and we'll see you on the road. MC Rider is made possible by our friends on Patreon. To learn how to support MC Rider, get access to the field guide and the forums, go to mcrider.com slash support.